Hey lovelies, it's Ebony and I'm back with another video. Jumping right in, I'm going to be experimenting with the aloe vera plant. If you guys have not seen this, I don't know how because it's been floating around all over the internet through YouTube and Instagram and everywhere. But I'm finally going to make a video using this very special plant because I've heard about so many of the benefits it has for your hair and your skin. And um, today I'm just going to be working with my hair, of course. So what I do is just take the aloe vera plant. I pick it up from Giant. I feel like you can find this plant basically anywhere in any of the grocery stores nearby. Um, if not, just try like a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's. But it's very cheap. It was only $1.50 for that very long plant. And I just cut off a few little sections, trimmed it up, and scooped out the inside into a bowl. Now I've seen some people just open the plant and rub it directly onto their skin or their scalp or they just rub it directly against their hair. But I find that can be a little bit difficult to work with. Uh, that's why I decided to just go ahead and scrape everything out into a bowl because that way I can treat it as if, you know, it's a conditioner or gel or anything else that I'm more familiar with working with as far as, you know, putting it through my hair. Now, one thing I do wanna make sure I mention is be very, very careful when cutting this plant. Do not do like me and cut towards your fingers. Please cut away from your hands because the plant is very slippery, or well, at least the inside is. The contents of the plant feel very much like a slippery, oily gel. So yeah, make sure that you're doing everything to keep very good control of that knife because you don't wanna cut your fingers off. And if you can, you know, maybe you can find one that's pretty ripe, I don't know if, if aloe vera being ripe is a thing <laughs> maybe you can just peel the peel away instead of cutting it but obviously that's completely up to you now in case you didn't know aloe vera gel is kind of like a superfood for your hair it's really good for addressing some very common but serious hair issues that a lot of us face if you have a lot of dandruff or just dry scalp in general your hair itself is really dry your hair is falling out is really dull and you need some shine, aloe vera gel can help with all of that. It has vitamins A, C, and E inside that help with making your hair shiny, making it healthy, and helping your hair to produce what it needs to create healthy hair strands. Now, if you want, you can apply this directly to your hair without adding any oil, but some people like to add avocado oil to help with the softness and shininess. Olive oil or any of your favorite oil, go ahead and add that if you like. But for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the raw aloe vera gel. I just wanna see how it works with my hair. Now, I don't know why I thought I'd be able to make this mixture <laughs> nice and smooth with a fork that definitely did not work. So I went ahead and just put the mixture in the blender and this is how it turned out. Don't worry, the foam died down after about 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, it was just as smooth as I needed it to be to uh, get ready to put in my hair. Now when I applied the mixture to my hair, it felt just like I was applying a gel conditioner combination to my hair. My hair detangled immediately. Um, I'm working with freshly washed hair here, so there was no conditioner or anything in it to help with the detangling. The aloe vera gel did that all on its own, and when I was brushing my hair with the Demon brush, it looked as if I had already put product in my hair. But that was just nothing but the gel. I was already so excited to see how my hair was softening and defining and detangling. This is definitely something I'm excited about using in the future, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, today was my first day trying this. I wanna try it a few more times and come back with a second video for you guys to let you know how my hair has changed, if it changed at all, if it changed for the good, if it changed for the bad. Uh, but judging from how my hair reacted today, I'm thinking that aloe vera gel is the way to go for the next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this method two more times and come back with my results. I'll be looking for shiny curls, moisturized curls, and a very moisturized scalp. But in the meantime, go ahead and share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.